Good morning and welcome to your Daily Spark. Let me ask you a question. Does prayer work? Well, of course, all the Christians say, yes, it does. But we live in a society that's fairly organised. You put a letter in a letterbox and it usually ends up where you want it to. You order an item online and it usually comes to you. You know, most often, I guess, in the right colour, the right size, the right model. Ask someone to provide you a service and you can reasonably expect them that you'll get the service that you've asked them to provide. In other words, we are used to results in response to our arrangements. That's why prayer can be so discouraging for some of us. We can't predict the results. We are tempted to abandon prayer as a viable you know, exercise and try getting the results ourselves because then we can predict what the results will be. But in fact, the fact is in my prayer life, you know, it cannot be directly tied to the results that I expect or demand. I have seen it so many. I've seen so many opportunities. You know, where so many times I've seen where there's, there've been opportunities for things to work the way I say, but God's taken a different direction, and I have to just trust Him in that, despite the fact that that my prayers apparently aren't answered the way that I would want them. I begin to see that worship and intercession are far more the business of aligning myself with God and His purposes rather than Him aligning His self with my purposes. Henry Newman says it best when he writes this. Prayer is a radical conversion of all of our mental processes because in prayer we move away from ourselves, our worries, our preoccupations and self-gratification and direct all that we recognise as ours to God in the simple trust that through his love all will be made new. So as you pray today, remember you can't control the results, but if prayer is just aligning yourself with the Lord, bringing your request to him and saying, Lord, I trust you no matter the results. God bless you. Pray hard. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.